Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got a little get ready with me video for y'all today. So I have a bunch of new products from Sephora and Ulta that I've just been playing around with and I'm using them today in this get ready with me. So this is the look that I came up with. It's just kind of like a purpley sort of eye look with a really glowy inner corner, a very neutral lip, kind of a pinky cheek. This is what we've going on. Got gorgeous whatever I would do. Mm-hmm. This is what we've got going on with our makeup today. So this is what I'm gonna be doing to my get ready with me and I'm just taking you guys along with me. So let's get to it. Okay, so I've already applied some moisturizer and I'm actually not using a primer today because I prefer this without a primer. This is the Urban Decay Naked Skin One and Done and I wear it in light. And I'm using my Beauty Junkies Flat Angled Kabuki to apply it. And I'm just gonna apply a couple of coats of this. So there is that. So now I'm going to fill in my brows with my NYX Tame and Frame Tinted Brow Pomade in Blonde and this Bodyography Pro brush and then my NYX Micro Brow Brow Pencil in Taupe. Now I'm gonna apply some eyeshadow primer. Today I'm using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Eyeshadow Primer. Now I'm gonna apply a couple of bases. First I'm gonna put my MAC Painterly Paint Pot on the top half of my list just to cancel out discoloration. And then I'm gonna use my Laura Mercier Caviar Stick in Amethyst on my eyelid. Now I'm gonna go in with my Kat Von D Shade and Light Plum Palette. I'm gonna get some of this pinky color right here. It's kind of like a pinky neutral blending sort of a shade. It says base, but I like to use it as kind of a blending shade. And I'm gonna take my Sedona Lace EB15 brush and just apply this right into my crease and transition area. Hair in the wig. Now I'm gonna get a little bit of this purpley shade on that same brush and apply that kind of right into my crease. Not quite as high as the pink, but just to define my crease a little bit more. Now I'm gonna take my detailer brush from Real Techniques and I'm gonna get some of this lightest color right here and apply this onto my lid. And now on a Beauty 360 brush, I'm gonna get some of this kind of eggplant purple color, and I'm going to take just a little bit of that in my outer corner just for a little bit of definition and blend that in with the other shades. And then for my brow bone, I'm just using this L'Oreal eyeshadow. This is in Seashell on a no-name brush and I'm just applying that. Then for my lower lash line, I'm gonna use some of this dusty color again on a Sedona Lace EB21 brush and just run that along my lower lash line. I didn't have this palette when I filmed that um, kind of new at Sephora and Ulta review video. 
hadn't gotten it yet, but I really do enjoy this palette. I think it's really nice. I think if you like the shade and light eye palette, like the bigger version, I think you'll like these too because this seems just as nice to me and I like this has kind of like different colors in it than the bigger palette. And then I wanna have a really glowy look to the inner corners of my eyes. So I'm gonna use my Urban Decay After Glow 8 Hour Powder Highlighter in Aura. And I'm using my Delium Tools 781 brush for this. And I'm just going to kind of like dust this on the inner corner of my eyes just to add a little bit of glow. Now I'm gonna line my upper lash line with my Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper and I am gonna do a little bit of a wing. And now I'm gonna curl my lashes and apply mascara. Today I'm using my CoverGirl The Super Sizer. Now on to the rest of my face. So for concealer today, I'm gonna to use my Wet n Wild Illuminati Highlighting and Concealing Pen. I wear it in Ivory Into You. I'm gonna apply that with my Sedona Lace 217 brush. Then I'm also gonna use some of my MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer in NW20 and apply that just with my fingers. Now I'm gonna go ahead and set my under eyes with my Ben Nye Luxury Powder. This is in, I think, Rose Petal, I think is the color name. And I'm using my e.l.f. Small Tapered Brush. I am always so nervous with loose powders because I'm accident prone. So anyway, my e.l.f. Small Tapered Brush, I'm gonna get some actually in the lid, that's safer. Did I already say this? I'm setting my under eyes and just my T-zone with this. Now for bronzer, I'm gonna start out using the Benefit Do The Hula. This is a liquid bronzer. I'm gonna get a little bit of this on the back of my hand and I'm using my e.l.f. Small Stipple Brush for this. And I'm just gonna apply this as my contour. You can see this is really warm. So I find it kind of hard to use, but I wanted to show it in a video so you guys can kind of like see it in action. But I'm not the biggest fan of this. I don't like it too much. <laughs> and now I'm gonna set the rest of my face with my Sephora Micro Smooth Baked Face Compact in Light 15 and just an e.l.f. complexion brush. I'm just kind of like dabbing so that I don't disturb that strange looking bronzer underneath. <laughs> and I also didn't have this product when I did that review video on a bunch of new products. This is the Too Faced Baked Luminous Glow Bronzer and this is in Sweet Tea. It's gorgeous. So I'm gonna go over that bronzer like in my contour area and then bronze up my neck using my Sedona Lace FB05 brush and also my Delium Tools 992. And then for blush today, I'm gonna to use my Benefit Dandelion Dew. I love this so much. And I'm gonna use my e.l.f. Small Stipple Brush to apply this. So I'm gonna get a little bit on the back of my hand. You really don't need a lot of this. I'm losing my voice. <laughs> get a little bit on your brush. And then I just dab it onto my cheeks. It's such a cute blush, I love it.
then over that, I'm going to apply some of the powder version of Dandelion with my Delium Tools 960. And I'm kind of dabbing it on just so I don't disturb any of my, you know, foundation underneath or also that cream blush. I just find that kind of dabbing it really seems to layer things better. Then for highlighter, I'm going to use my Urban Decay Aura again, and I'm going to apply that with my Sephora Pro Contour Brush, and I'm also going to put a little bit more on the inner corners of my eyes um, again with my Delium Tools 781 brush. And then for lips, I've got a lot going on with the rest of my makeup, so I'm going to keep it very neutral. I'm going to use my Tarte The Lip Sculptor Lipstick and Lip Gloss, and this is in Basic. It's a really pretty nude color. This is what the little combo looks like. Really cute. that wraps up this get ready with me so i hope that you really enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up if you did if you do enjoy get ready with me thumbs up always let me know that ask me any questions that you have down below i'm happy to answer those let me know your thoughts on any of these products i always enjoy hearing your thoughts and opinions please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and i'll see you in the next video bye